Hello Batavia families and students. My name is Lisa Hitchens and I'm the superintendent of schools. I am here to welcome you to the 2021 school year. It has been a long time coming and we are so proud to be here for you. The staff has spent quite a few months preparing our schools to make them safe places for your students to return and feel welcome, loved, and supported. We cannot wait to be your partners in the learning and the growing that is going to happen this school year, whether it's in person or virtually. Welcome back, students. I'm Kevin Scomer. I'm the principal of Louise White School. Welcome to our school. Come on in. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of what the building is going to look like. Okay, just a couple of notes about what's going to be a little bit different in the morning. Um, first of all, when buses arrive, the school starts at 8.45, so students at that time will start entering the building at 8.45, and they will go right to their classroom. Last year they stayed out in the hallway, now they're going right into their classroom, right to their seat, so that the teacher will be there to meet them. What we're going to do with the buses is when they arrive, we're going to dismiss one bus at a time, and allow those students to spread out and get to their classrooms. And then once they've gotten in and spread out, we'll bring in the next bus and go like that. So that way it keeps our flow of students in at uh, socially distanced as they're coming into the building. They go right to the classroom where the teacher will meet them. They'll have the ability to wash their hands, unpack their materials, and then we'll store their backpacks and things for the day. All right, as you can see, you've been, you're back in the classroom, but this classroom doesn't look like it typically did at Louise White, did it? No, this is not how we typically do it. But if you notice, you're all about six feet apart. There's a lot less students in the classroom. In fact, for our classrooms this year, we'll have anywhere between six and 11 students in the classroom at one time. So we won't have classes that have any more than 11 students. So or maybe 11 to 12. So six to 12 students in the classroom at one time. This is where you're going to spend most of your day. There will be some time that the special teachers will come into class and teach your special in here. And then there are other times when you would go to the special class. But if you were to leave to go to specials, everybody would wash their hands before they leave and they'd wash their hands when they came back. And then when you got to the special classroom, you would make sure that all the tables are clean before you sat down at the new table. Okay, so does anyone have questions about what the class may look like when they're in? All right, so it's gonna be a little look quieter in the classrooms. It's gonna be a little different because you're not sitting at tables and working more directly with your friends, but we're still gonna find ways where you can engage with each other and work with each other and learn from each other in a safe way. See, there's only 10 or 11 of you, but there are 20 some desks in here. Why is that? Because you'll notice that this is your desk, and then this desk would be for someone who's a crimson student, so they would sit at this student desk at the next day. That way you are all six feet apart, you have your own space, you, won't, you can put all of your supplies inside of your desk so you're not sharing with the, the crimson person. Ooh, yay, and I that gives us the most room myself. in the classroom that we can get. And you still have your own space. This would give you a little bit extra big table room to share. You go in front of me. You cover. Oh, oh, All right, so as you can see, this is only a section of our lunchroom, uh, but we'll have a total of 12 tables set out. Three students will sit at each table. They're 12 foot tables, so I can get the students six feet apart that way when they're eating. Um, they, they'll each have a sticker. There'll be a number, so each student will be assigned a number, and that way we'll know for contact, contact tracing purposes where they're seated in the lunchroom, and they can have the ability then to take their masks off and eat their lunch. Uh, and still be able to communicate with students are here.
So at the end of the school day, we're gonna spread it out as well. We used to put all of the students who took the bus in the gym, but at this point, there are too many students to have in the gym at one time. So those students are gonna stay in their classrooms until the bus is here. All of our walking students will be dismissed right away, maybe a minute or two before 3.30, so that they can get themselves together and out of the building. Uh, then we'll dismiss those students who are being picked up in the car line. We'll have uh, faculty out there to make sure the students are spread and waiting for parents to arrive. And then as the buses pull up, we'll call the students for their bus and they will come right down, right out the building, right on the bus where they'll have their seats assigned to them uh, so that they can be spread out on the buses as well.